Welcome to that Anderson show. <laughs> Lee here. Pete here. Hello. 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 Um. <laughs> He's gone. <laughs> He's gone. How you doing, Pete? Yeah, I'm okay, man. How are you? Yeah, I'm good, thanks, I'm man. Good. You been up to anything cool recently? Uh, yes, I had a gig with this Atomic Kitten uh, tribute. Back oh, the other day. Oh, hang on a second. <laughs> <laughs> so what are you doing then? Oh, you know, I had to fly out to um, Huddersfield to put a pedal board together for Shaking Stevens. Oh my God. I know. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, look, shakes. enough tomfoolery. Enough tomfoolery. We are we are poking some fun at our dear friends <laughs> and super talented people. Which we love uh, dearly. Dan and Mick of DNM fame. That pedal uh, show. Yes, that pedal show. Because we are going to review the pedals that Dan and Mick co-designed with uh, the genius that is Robert Keeley. And he's a funny guy. Ooh, well, look realize. at that. Recently, he even, he even plugs his little YouTube channel inside yeah, Rock. So they come in these rather nice. Um, this looks like the executioner's. If you had a very small <laughs> executioner's head, <laughs> you would put this over the top, cut two eye holes out, and then cut people's heads off. So it comes in a nice little velvet bag, a little snuff bag with some stickers and uh, and some. Robert's phone number Robert's and Mick, phone Mick number. and Dan's personal phone numbers <laughs> in case you want to call them uh, at about 12, 1 o'clock at night to... Um... Some uh, very useful explanation here about what the pedal does and some sample settings on the back. And some but... little feet, find the rubber feet, but I suspect most of you will use the Velcro. We're just going to get into boards. it, aren't we? Yes. I'm going to use a Fender Hot Rod Deluxe. I'm going to use a Marshall JTM 45 Ooh. half stack. I'm going to use a, uh, a blue strat because Mick's got a blue strat. And I'm going to use a sunburst Les Paul because Dan's got a sunburst Les Paul. <laughs> Actually, Dan's is a little bit less burst, I think. A little bursty. Um, so, that's, so that's good. What is the DNM Serial drive? Number. If you have been living under a rock for the last three months and haven't watched any of the fantastic output that uh, that pedal show produces, um, the DNM drive is two distortion pedals in one or two pedals in one I should say rather than distortion pedals yeah if you're you know if you have a little fantasy about special nights in with uh, Dan Steinhardt <laughs> then who doesn't you would use the uh, left side of the pedal with the black knobs on it and this is more of a drive pedal you know a traditional drive yeah. pedal yeah yeah Tell him, you know, and if you uh, like a night in with Mick uh, like I've had a few who times, wouldn't who wouldn't? Which I've had a few times, uh, and that was fun. You would uh, choose the side with mixed face with the white knobs on it, which is more of a boost slash overdrive, kind of perhaps a bit clunny, I would say. Would you? Yes, was but we are not plugged going, in yet. But I, didn't, I didn't think that they, that they had a, I, I just thought that. But Dan, it's a booster over. Yeah, Dan was going for a more sort of you know, uh, sounding distortion pedal, what? and Mick was going for a sort of maybe Ooh. a smoother kind of let's just cook the tube amps in his yeah. amp a little bit more. Yeah, a preamp sort of. Um, so that in itself, I suppose, is um, not the first time I've seen two pedals in one, but what was very cool, and although it's happened on two or three different pedals since the beginning of year, the, the year, uh, these guys were the first to tell me this idea of this very clever little switch um, which switches whether or not you want the sort of distortion pedal first followed by the boost or flip the other way around you can have the boost pedal first followed by the distortion which we will demonstrate but essentially what happens by moving where you put the boost if the boost comes before the drive what you get is more drive yeah. when you engage the boost and if the boost comes after what you get is more volume yeah and it says drive first Boost yeah. first. There's like Mick here, Dan here, and also a really cool feature that that I think is a really cool thing. If you have a switching board, it's like, a shame. Like the G2, which we, we don't have. No, I know that. I feel like we've let them down slightly. As what we really wanted was a really complicated switching board, just to demonstrate <laughs> essentially. <laughs> but one each. One pedal. One yeah, each. one each. One each. But we haven't done that. But what you get, what they they have on the top of this is uh, I believe it's THS cables. T what is it called? I must admit. 
I will you give can... you a cookie every time you pronounce T R S. T R S. It's T S R R S T T H R. We've had now. S T D. Yeah, absolutely. So these, these take S T D cables and T R S. So it's effectively <laughs> a stereo yeah. cable. Then you can run in the top of this into your switching system, and then you can control either side. So you can have one on the other. You know what I mean? Like you have a switching system. You can have one on one and, and the other one on two, and then. Do that with them. So I, I, you can activate them. You can separately activate. Yes, you can. Your essentially, they are, they then become two completely discrete distortion pedals, yeah. don't they? And then you'll be able to switch around which one you want anyway. So you yes. will just leave that in, in single yeah. position. Runs on a nine volt power supply. You can't run this on batteries. Um, I have had. I must admit, I I went to see Robert Keeley just as they were packing down the Keeley stand at the Nam show, mm. and asked if I could steal the one off display. And he very kindly said yes. So I've had one of these for a while. But for 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 Monsieur Honore, um, this will be your first yes, but attempt at plugging tiny, something I into Dan and Mick. I, I think I, you've I, plugged something into Mick a few I times whilst you've been here, but um, uh, a few times. <laughs> In more, more but I ways don't know than... if you've plugged into Mick and Dan at the same time. No, but that will happen. I assure you that. It's going to happen now. Right, so you plug them in? Mm-hmm. Good. So we're going to start on the Dan side. Um, we're going to start with Dan. And <laughs> Pete's going to use a mix of his Strat and the 335. I'm going to use a bit of a Telecaster and a Les Paul. And we'll just go through the kind of range of gain tones. Range. So what have we got? If we start with the first thing that you'll notice about this pedal as well is the level control is loud. Yeah, there's so much level in it's, it. It's there's quite a few distortion pedals, and I'm quite happy about that because I don't see the point of having a distortion pedal where in order to get the same volume as you had without the pedal, that you have to have the level three quarters of the way up anyway. No. Like what is the point? This is of opposite that? though. This yeah. is like the opposite. You have to turn it down to get the same. So yeah, so so that kind of unity, if you like, is let's have a little look. Is yeah, about a quarter of the way up. Let's Did try you say that. Yeah. Now I think, but that makes that makes sense to me because yeah. why you, you you're very rare that you need to have a distortion pedal that's louder sorry that's quieter when it's switched on compared yeah, to you when want it's a little bit off. of a so boost let's start with your gain control well both of our gain controls then round about a quarter yeah and the tone sort of halfway and see what tones we get so what have you that's nice isn't it it is nice rhythm guitar kind of tone i think there so obviously it'll be a bit pokier through the les paul Great. It's not. It doesn't give you too much saturation when it's completely full up. You know, it's very subtle all the way through as you Let's see scroll what all the then. way over. I like that. So as your, so as we take yours from a quarter of the way up, to say half the way up on the gain. Here we go. That's a make leg, isn't it? That's good, man. It sounds great, doesn't it? And, and then oh, similar on this one, so halfway up on the gain now. And that's that's a proper rock tone. That's a rock. I like that harmonic kind of feedback noise that. Absolutely. To... That's a great, great rock. Tough. 
Woof. Nothing okay, that. Okay, so three quarters of the way up. Do you know what I like Big as well? Big and fat. It's not noisy, is it? No. I mean, relative to how loud we're playing, it's not like there's bucket loads of background noise coming out the pedal. Actually, there's not. Um, I think for this guitar, I'm just going to roll the tone back so that the gain stays up, but the tone now goes yeah. to, uh, again, about nine o'clock. Maybe too and much it, there. Because there is that sort of raspy, sort of vintage old edge which some people don't like some being you then some being me yes yeah. so i've always liked a slightly darker Nothing wrong with that, oh, is there? No, I'll probably Nothing put a little bit wrong more on. That. I'll probably put a bit top. That's a big one. So, it is fat, man. It's fat, is so I'm spinning as well. Fat. So. Okay, so, so that's Dan. So if you want to go, oh, let's what are you see. Do? I was just going to try slowly and take the gain all the do way that. down, and then just see. Must not let left leave any stone unturned. You know, Ooh. you know what you need though. That <laughs> JTM forty five has got headroom for days I know. for pedals, hasn't I know. it? Yeah. I, I'm pretty sure if we did that with something like the Hot Rod Deluxe, it we'd just fart the amp out because it just hasn't got that kind of and headroom. speak and everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah absolutely. Speak. But the JTM forty five sounds amazing. Oh, oh it's sounding that's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. Um, move, move on. Move over to Mick. Let's okay, into so yeah, Mick's getting, he's feeling left out now, so <laughs> let's um, so let's see what it does. Again, this is, in, we're just using his side of the pedal in isolation, so let's try and find unity again. Tone and, and that's level gain and tone, that's all there is on, yeah. on each side. I don't know if we said that, but uh, we just did. But we just did. So what happens here then if we... As you can see, mix effect is far less dramatic in terms of uh, how much gain it adds when you have some of the lower settings. But I think what this is designed to do is to probably take an amp with a little bit of dirt already in it and just give it. <laughs> uh, so let's just see what happens as we start to boost them. Thank you. 
like that's a clean, that's yeah, a complete clean like, boost I, as well. On its own, yeah, through a clean amplifier, you have just got to drive it a bit, haven't you, to get a little bit. I think that'll be different when you use both of them together. Oh, for sure. I think in order to ably demonstrate how Mick's side of the pedal can act as a, as a boost going into the front of a dirty amp. <laughs> going into Dan. When Mick goes into Dan. <laughs> so many gags there. Let's <laughs> when you say gag. Let's set Pete up with a mild gain tone from Dan's side of the pedal. Mm. So we've got a bit of gain. And what we'll do now is use Mick's side of the pedal to boost into Dan's side of the pedal. Here's another big one. So I'm going to do the same on, uh, so here's my kind of nice crunchy rhythm tone, I think. I'm changing guitar oh. just because I feel like we promised you we would go and we the haven't other, yet. Do you want to put, put Dan and Mick first? Well, does Mick like it when Dan goes in him? I thought it was more <laughs> the other way around. <laughs> <but> <laughs> I don't let's know if I want out. to know any about let's anything about find it. Out what let's happens. see what happens when Dan goes into Mick. You know that's why Dan wears glasses, don't you? That's the deflector. Uh, so, uh, we, we're changing it round now so that the drive is first. And this is what happens. It's a more drive, isn't it? I think what Pete was trying to say, even though you couldn't hear him, <laughs> uh, was yes, if. Mick goes first, all that happens is you get more distortion out of Dan. If Dan goes first, then what you get is more volume, like this. So the, the tone retains the same sort of character of gain, but you just get a louder sound if you put the boost afterwards. I don't know how... Um, Easy that is to hear on YouTube because obviously most of the volume changes tend to get sort of compressed out. But YouTube in here, compresses everything, it's, uh, it? it's quite a lot louder. Comes right there, doesn't it? Great. I like that before when it wasn't. Oh, the game was a bit down. You got that. Let's 
Let's turn down on the volume. I don't think Chuck Berry ever had my that much game. My ding-a-ling, <laughs> my ding-a-ling, I want you to play with my ding-a-ling. Shall we just jam out? Because I think we've cut, let's find our favorite sounds on here. My favorite sound is always boost first. Yes, I would say that um, as well for me. But then again, you know, you might have you might have a compressor first, and then you can use the boost after. Who knows? Uh, yes, you know, people. So we should say these are 229 pounds. 229. Uh, they are in stock now at least they're in stock now at Anderton's mm. uh, I believe they are there is limited distribution around the world so I think if you live in America you can either buy them from Keeley or right. from Rift City yep. and if you live in Europe you buy them from Anderton's uh, and I think there's a guy in Australia selling them yeah, as well there's a guy in Australia who I forget apologies but I think there is one Oh, if you on. don't live in one of those three countries, then just buy it from Anderson's anyway, and we'll ship it to you. We'll hey! ship it. <laughs> right, loud enough. Oh, let's Crunch do it. you. There's some settings on here. Introducing. Front Thank you for buying the DLM drive. It's the front chew. What? Um, the crunch chew. Oh, that's. Is what, that Chewbacca's that's what, that's, brother? That's what Mick does to Dan, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Would you like me to crunch chew, Dan? <laughs> 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 Jesus Christ, that's, a, that's a crunch you. My good yeah, that was lord. Loud. That okay. was really loud in Let's here. Let's try Tex Melt. I suspect you would use a strap for that, but it doesn't matter. Oh man, look, they're all so loud. Don't, don't do it. Are you ready? Hold your ears, everybody. Is it both sides on at the same time. Yeah. <laughs> Practical uh, and loud enough. We done this one yet or not? No, I think that's going to be loud enough, isn't it? This is. Or oh, was that the one you just did? No, nope. I did uh, text sorry. melt. Okay, so loud enough is. Who comes up with these here. names for this? Mick and Dan, I expect. Here we go. Oh, hang on, that's this way round. That sounds great. That sounds good, doesn't it? If you just mm. take them, yeah, these two down a bit loud. A bit, let's do that. <laughs> Try to play some mick licks. I tried to lick, mix, licks. He's jolly good. That they is both lovely. are, in fairness. But right, so we're just going to get our two favourite sounds, jam out. Uh, maybe you should do a loop. Okay. That always sounds good.
cut out jesus that sounds great <laughs> man how do they how do they say goodbye at the end of i don't know man i never watched the videos all the way to the end <laughs> <laughs> so do you want to see what happens to you when who do you want to go first <laughs> whoever wants to go first and whoever wants to go into who is fine with me so we want the uh, human let's do let's do dan first dnm to same bead. as what i was just doing <laughs> the dnm to peed <laughs> that's the next pedal is that, is that what happens if you get four dnm drives and you line them all up and you get the dnm to peed <laughs> that's awesome <laughs> what if Sekitan. dan's name was uh sam then it would be the snm drive wouldn't it <laughs> I was a little bitty boy My grandmother bought me a cute little toy Silver bells hanging on a string She told me it was my ding-a-ling Oh, my ding-a-ling, my ding-a-ling I want you to touch my, my ding-a-ling My ding-a-ling, my ding-a-ling I want you to play with my, my ding-a-ling. That's, please, no more. No more. <laughs> <laughs> Answer. <laughs> Answer. <laughs>